Hi, I'm Curly. This is another update in the making of Oklahoma. Since the last time I did a video log, a few things have changed. First of all, um, Judd dropped out. Shit. Okay. So, me and Caitlin get there early for, early for rehearsal. Not that everybody usually doesn't get there early, but we were supposed to be there half an hour early in order to do the dance lifts and all that sort of thing, which I was very nervous about. It's like, you know, because it pretty much failed so much the last time. So we were working that out, and it actually came off really well. I don't know what changed since then. I think, you know, just getting used to getting used to each other's presence and the way we dance and dance. The way she dances, the way I move around the stage. And just working with Greg to figure out exactly what I was doing wrong and what I needed to be doing. So, uh, The one I was wor most worried about is looking a lot better and I apparently can hold her above my head now. So that's cool. So yeah, that we were working on that. That went well. Rehearsal starts. We're going to do the smokehouse scene, and we're looking around, thinking, and, you know, Greg's thinking, where's Glenn? Now, Glenn has never been late, and Glenn being Judd. And um, Bill says something about him, like, hand, him being there, and, like, handing him the notebook, his notebook or something, to go, to go set down or whatever so I walk over to what, where his notebook is and there's just this envelope on there, this white envelope on his black notebook that says Greg and Brad I think oh crap I mean I didn't know what exactly he was going to say but I certainly didn't look good walked over handed it to them they're reading it I read it because why not and yeah he, he dropped out for personal reasons and something about moral integrity, and I didn't read all of it, but it was like, uh, what? So, we could have to go, Judd drops out, and, um, yeah, remember when Judd hit me in the face? Yeah, and then he said, oh, I'll take you to the hospital, and I go, hey, I don't have health insurance, so I'm not really gonna go if I, oh, I'll pay for it. Okay, fine then. So we go and all that, and I get a bill for $600. Obviously, he can't put it on his health insurance, because that would be fraud. And I even asked him. I took him aside during rehearsal, I was like, I got a bill for $600. Are you sure you want to pay that? And he said, yeah, it's fine. So, I hope it's not that, but I have not really been able to contact him. I called him and I said if that was the reason why he was dropping out, that he should not worry about it and come back and all that. And he actually did call me back last night and I missed the call because I was in rehearsal. There was two messages on my machine. One that was nothing, which I didn't figure out was him until later when I checked the missed call log. And the other being my mom, which I just realized I needed to call. Anyway. So yeah, I'm, tr I'm trying to talk to him. I haven't heard if he's talked to anybody, but um, I don't know. I hope it's not that. I hope that something really bad hasn't happened to him or anything like that. I don't... I, he's done the show before, so I, I'm not really sure what moral integrities he could be talking about if it's not that weird, that whole situation, but... Um, crap! I mean... I didn't freak out at rehearsal, but god damn it, I was pissed, you know, it's like, what? It's like, we're pretty sure my nose wasn't broken, I didn't, I was like, I don't know, maybe it's a really bad idea to rely on somebody like that, maybe I'll just get screwed over in the end, and hey, what do you know? Uh, we'll figure something out, I guess. So... James, who was a member of the chorus until two days or two days ago, yeah, would have been Monday. Remember the chorus until last Monday. He's uh, he was I wasn't inside when they were picking him, but he he's the he's Judd now, and he's had like two days to do it. He hasn't memorized everything yet, but you gotta do what you gotta do, you know. He'll be fine. I feel a lot better 
doing the stage fights with him to tell you the truth. I don't know. <laughs> he hasn't punched me in the face yet. Uh. What else did we do in that rehearsal? The dance was great. That was good getting back to... Um, I'm trying to remember what else happened during that rehearsal. It was kind of a, you know, the big story was Judd not showing. We had a rehearsal last night in a new room, and we did the, we did the stage, we did second act basically, which was good because some of those scenes were not something really we've got, been able to go over that often. Like, uh, people, people will say we're in love or prize and all that. I know Greg watches this, but I'm going to talk about him anyway. Um, as a director, I would say, maybe this is totally wrong, but at least right now, as we run out of time, there are certain points where where I'm not getting a whole lot of direction from him, and it's one of those things where I'm basically monologuing or I, you know, singing the song. And he, he said he doesn't really like the lay down blocking for that, but the first time I did, I did uh, the love scene yesterday, and just I. You know, I was kind of limiting myself, I guess, and like what I could do and the movements and all that. And if, again, if Greg, if you're, if I'm doing anything wrong, you know, just talk to me. The second time I felt was a lot better. I just didn't memorize that scene, but I don't know. It just felt a lot more natural and just, you well, know, was moving, you know, better all around. So. That was good to get through twice, because uh, that may have been the second or third time we've done that. I don't know. What else happened? Ran the fight scene. Uh, there were something. Well, there was one thing we changed, which I was kind of glad we did, because I was um, nervous about that move. Basically, I was jumping on the back of Judd, you know, ch trying to choke or whatever, and he flips me over his shoulder, and it's like, oh, oh that's gonna work out well. And the first time we did it in front of everyone, it, well, I mean, I posted a video of it already. You can see what it looked like. I am beaten up, though. Let's see here. From just doing all the lifts, like holding Lori above my head like that. My shoulders are sore. I got friggin' bruises right there. My elbow did not feel so good at the end of the night. Carpet or rug burn from practicing in, in another part of the part of the mall with the hat carpet bruises right there I've got a I couldn't figure out where that was from until I look back at some of the fight videos and it's the part where I jump off off the porch and he punched me in the gut and I go down I must have been landing on my shoulder because that's what it looked like I've got matching bruises on my hips now I mean I am I was feeling rough this morning let's put it that way felt better as the day goes on but ugh kind of feel like a wrestler is feel Jesus. Andrew said the fight looked good at the end of the night, though, so we had to work on it a lot, but it's going well, I guess. Uh, what else? We blocked everything. Obviously, we're going to have to go back and quickly update our new Judd on what exactly is going on, but... He seems like somebody who picks up stuff quickly, though, so that's good. Uh, we kind of got an orchestra. I, I think it might be like a 10-piece orchestra. I know we got percussion, uh, a horn, oboe, flute, violin, and some other things, but from what I hear, it's it's quite nice. This Sunday, I'll be going in with the rest of the cast to do the music with them. Costume is almost ready. I kind of still haven't figured out exactly what we have still from Judd's, from, excuse me, from Glenn, from Glenn's uh, props and such. I think I still have the chaps, I think I still have the holster and all that, but, huh, <laughs> awkward. But yeah, week from tomorrow we open, so it's getting down to the wire. I'll see you next time.